in Denmark, the king died, and his brother Claudius took his place. Young Prince Henry, the son of the dead king, was not happy that his uncle was now king, and that his mother had married his uncle. One dark and cold night, Henry found out that the ghost of his father was walking around the castle each night. So he decided to talk to it. He brought his friend Horatio with him because he was nervous and a little scared. Look, my lord, it comes. Stop, I want to speak to you. Oh, answer me. Stay here, Horatio. I am going to speak to it. Who are you, ghost? I am the ghost of your father. I was murdered. Murdered? Who did it? Your uncle murdered me. He poured poison in my ear I, while I was asleep. Uh, get revenge. I must go now, because it is also morning. Goodbye, remember me. I will get revenge. In another part of the capsule, Claudius burned an advisor. Claudius was saying goodbye to his son at his who was going to France to go to school. Pronius, the love of Puria was also real. She was a girl who had many lovers. A broad for shade, go with my blessing, but take this advice. This above all, to thine own self be true. Most humbly do I take my leave of my father, farewell Ophelia, and remember real what I have to say to you. What does he mean, Ophelia? What has he said to you? Something that the Lord has need. She has made many tenders of affection to me. Do not trust him, daughter. I charge you. I shall obey my Lord. Meanwhile, Hamdi decided to pretend that he had gone mad so that he could watch his uncle. Everyone noticed it and they blamed it on his sadness over his father's death and his love for Ophelia. But Claudius was worried about Hamlet's actions, so he and Polonius hid and watched how Hamlet acted around Ophelia. At first, Hamlet was alone, thinking of a life at death, because the ghost had worried him so. When he saw Ophelia, his mood changed, he acted strangely, and he told her he did not love her. To be or not to be, that is the question. To die, to sleep, perchance to dream. Stop till now, the veil of Julia comes. Oh my lord, how about your honor for this many a day? I love you once. Indeed, my lord, you made me really so. You should not have believed me. I love you not. Now go away from me. another actor's ear, just like the ghost had said. When Henry's uncle, Claudius, so this he got very angry upset. Henry knew the ghost was telling the truth. The place the things were in will catch the cushions of the king.
was hiding behind the curtains in her room. Thinking it was the key, he stopped it with his sword, but it was Polonius spying on him. When Laertes received news that Hamilton killed Pronius, he rushed home. Unfortunately, Ophelia was so saddened by her father's death that she rose to her feeling and fell into a river and drowned. When Laertes arrived in Denmark, he found that everyone in his family was now dead, and it was all Hamnet's fault. In the meantime, Hamnet had escaped from his guards and returned in secret, and was saddened to hear that Ophelia had died. Player in the Earth What? The fellow Ophelia? I loved her! Finding that her meat had returned and knowing that Laertes wanted revenge on her meat, Claudius arranged for a duel. Between them, he made a secret plan with Laertes to help him in. He would put food on Laertes' throat and pour a cup of food wine for Hamid to drink. I'll be the judge of the fight. Begin! Hermit's mother took a drink from the food and wine and fell down dead. While Hermit watched Laertes scratch Hermit's arm with the poison sword, Hermit grew angry, took the sword and stabbed Laertes with it. As boys on it. The kings put it there. We are both going to die. The kings to bread. Then he will die too. <coughs> Where's my friend? Oh, I died. Bless you. Now close on our heart. Good night, sweet prince. And flights of angels to seem to touch.